New at 10, Stevens Point is making it easier to rent out your home ahead of a big event next year. The USGA Senior Open Championship will tee off June 29th, and it's expected to bring in tens of thousands of people. And that, of course, could mean big money for homeowners. News 9's Isaac Tinison explains how. We're just under a year away from the USGA Senior Open Championship in Stevens Point. And though the city says the rules have changed, it's only for a short time and you'll still have to plan ahead. With Century World Golf Course sent for an international audience, Stevens Point will be packed to the gills. We're expecting an influx of nearly 70,000, maybe more, people coming into Stevens Point. We need to house them. We don't have that kind of hotel rooms. To prepare, the city council has already allowed for people to rent out their houses short term, whether or not you actually live there. But this does not mean every rule is suspended. Of course, that has to be inspected. You still need your permits. So we want to make sure that the, the people who are staying there are living in a safe environment. Um, but you then don't have to live there. So it could be a rental property. And even if you list your home on a site like Airbnb, you're not exempt from paying certain fees. Even if you don't go through one of those, you're required to submit the room tax to Portage County, uh, where, wherever it happens to be, if it's in Plover or Stevens Point. That's a biggie that we can get you in a lot of trouble and most people forget about it. The changes will only be in effect from June 26th through July 5th next year. Anyone with questions on the process should contact the city's zoning department. In Stevens Point, Isaac Dinison, News 9 WAOW.